Hi, welcome to the Comfy Red Couch. My name is Tracy and I have a co-host today. Hi, I'm Isaac. And today we are going to talk to you about yarn and lots of wonderful things. We have some special tea to share today as well as some special tea cups and uh, lots of fun things hopefully planned for this week's episode. And uh, Scout has come just for a quick pet like she often does while I'm podcasting. And, uh, yeah, so it's nice to have you joining me today, Isaac. Uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> we'll see once I've edited, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's let people know where they can find me. Um, my name, as I said, is Tracy, and I am Tracy RR on Ravelry, and I am Comfy Red Couch on Instagram. And we are coming to you from Toronto, where... It's hot today. Summer is here. Summer has finally arrived. It's September 17th and summer has finally come to Toronto. Um, yeah, we had a weird summer. It was very, very cool, but today it seems like it's hot and summery. We've shut the windows, so I expect it's going to get quite warm in here while we're podcasting. And uh, a huge welcome to anybody who's new to the podcast. Uh, thank you for stopping by and spending some time with us today. And a huge welcome back for returning viewers. I hope that I've got some lovely things that uh, you will enjoy seeing. And as always, I love having you come to see me. And uh, I hope everyone's got their cup of tea. I hope they've got their project bag and that they are ready to sit down and craft away while we chat about all those wonderful things. And you know what we're going to start off with today? I have no idea. Tea. Tea. Oh my. It's well, tea time. I have tea. I have tea too. And you have tea. We have actually very, very special tea. And a couple of weeks ago, do you remember I got a really fantastic package mm -hmm. from Karina in, uh, in Tasmania, which is in mm -hmm. Australia. And she sent this lovely T2 uh, five pack of tea. And when I showed it the other day, it was upside down. My goodness, I'm happy. Can you do me a favor? Just lift that off, please. That's why I need a co-host. sesame. Thank you. One's missing. Where could it be? I didn't do it. I know you didn't. I did. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have the lovely little square of Bondi tea. And so we're going to drink some Bondi tea. And we've got some really special mugs. So, let us start off with a lovely sip. Aren't these beautiful mugs? Yes, they are. And the tea, what do you think? Hmm. I guess fruity? I don't know. It's lemon myrtle, but it also has blood limes in it. It's non-caffeinated. So Which good, is for, good, for, good me. for you. Yeah. So not only are these mugs beautiful, I have these beautiful flowers and Isaac has these beautiful stars. On this side, our names, and they're spelled correctly, which never happens. So this is now my absolute favorite mug ever because it's mine. It belongs to me. And what do you think of yours? My precious. It's your precious, is it? <laughs> I was watching the video of your brother when he was really little doing the my precious the other day. <laughs> I was going to email it to you this morning, but I thought I probably get you in trouble if I did that but it was funny um <laughs> you remember when he did that my pet and he was and he was only what was he three Anyway, so we have these beautiful, beautiful mugs that Tracy of Nora George sent our way, and she sent one for me, she sent one for Isaac, Nathaniel, and Greg, and all of our names were spelled perfectly, which is so wonderful. But Tracy also sent a couple of other little things. Um, I'm going to share one now. This is the lovely, oops, let's turn the other way, the lovely, this is like 
the mugs. The lovely little popsicle from Jiggles and Beans, and he doesn't like the light very much because he's a vampire. And he glows in the dark, Isaac. He does? He does. He glows in the dark? Yeah. So we are going to put this on the brioche shawl that I've been working on, so that's why I'm showing it to you now. So, we've got our tea. Everyone's got their projects and their tea, hopefully. So now that we've got our tea and our lovely mugs, it is time to say... Cheers. Cheers! And then we're going to start talking about lovely yarn and crafting goodness. Um, yummy, isn't it? This week we're going to combine It's a Softness with My Favorite Things. And I think that's something I'm going to do for a little while because I only have one pair of socks on the needles right now. So if I've got more than one, I'll do an It's a Softness segment. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to combine them again. In my lovely Maker Maker bag, I have the socks that I've been working on at work, and so I call them my work socks, but um, last year I got these two done, and I've shown these many times on the podcast. Do you know what they're called, Isaac? Mismatched socks. They are mismatched socks, but this skein... Is called something and this skein is called something. Shall I parler en français? La French. Belle. Et la Bête. Et la Bête. So what socks are these? Beauty and the Beast socks. Beauty and the Beast socks. So I have Beauty, the Beast, and I am now making the second matching socks for each of these or as close to matching as I can get. So this week I did get a little bit farther than I did the previous week. So where I had just sort of gotten into the light pink a tiny, tiny fraction the other day, I'm now getting close to being into the oh. yellow. <laughs> There's the yellow there. So I'm just a little tiny bit off the yellow. So if we're looking at this one here, I'm just right probably the last row there and then I'm hitting into the yellow. So hopefully I will be a little farther along at the end of next week because it's been super busy at work and um, not a lot of time to sit and knit in the mornings and at lunch. So, but a little bit more done. And of course I did a little bit during my uh, appointment at, uh, for my allergy shots this week. So getting there, definitely a lot of growing up to do, but soon we'll get there. So that is the it's a softness part of my favorite things. And the next thing I'm going to share I have a finished object, but I can't share the finished object, Isaac, because it's not going to be released till later this week. So I will have a perfect finished object to share next week, but this week I get to share the yarn. And I am using yarn from the Fiber Company, and it is Erin Moore Light. And this is for the Curious Handmade Retreat. <sighs> I wish I could go on the retreat, Isaac. It's in England. Just go to England without anyone knowing. And then, you know, pretend that you're in England. I mean, pretend, pretend you're that here. I'm in England. Pretend you're here. Pretend I'm here. Yeah, that would... Shall I do what... Uh, Isaac and I have been watching um, The Office. And Isaac has been binge-watching The Office. And uh, mm -hmm. there's a part where Aaron carries a big teddy bear of Daryl up. Are you going to carry a big teddy bear up to my office and put it in my office and then yep. we can pretend I'm there all week. Yeah. So you're going to just carry a big teddy bear up to my office and put it in my seat and nobody will notice all week? Yeah, no one will notice. Well, I fly off to England and go to the wonderful Curious Handmade Retreat? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's not happening. I have the lovely yarn to share from my project for the retreat project and I am using this lovely light blue green aqua color and it is oh I loved it I, just this color is so nice and it is called river-esque and this one and I'm probably going to mispronounce it because it's one of those castle names that uh, it probably it's doesn't necessarily um, sound like it's spelled so it is Glenvey Castle so I'm not sure if that is how it is 
actually pronounced uh, G L E N V E A G H. So I would think Glen V, but who knows? And if you look right there, Isaac, that is the project that I've made. Mm. So it's pretty, isn't it? I really like it and I love it in these two colors. So later this week, Keep an eye on Instagram and you will see the project released by Helen and all of the people at the retreat, I'm sure. And you'll also see mine, and I have named mine, She Waves Across the Ocean. Do you know why? Because I'm here. And there. They're there. So, She Waves Across the Ocean. I hope that everyone who is on the retreat has such a wonderful time. Wish I could be there, but ah, oh, c'est la vie. So that is now an empty bird leg bag with just a little bit of yarn. I still have to weigh my yarn and uh, put it in my Ravelry notes, but otherwise um, I'll be updating the pictures later this week once the pattern is released. And I'm so excited to hear what everybody thinks about it. I will be keeping this one because it's so pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It just falls so nicely. So anyway, let's move on. It is now time for the weekly update on my brioche shawl. This is my Lemon Difficult Shawl by Kate Atherley. And I am using lovely Canadian yarn, which I've shown I don't know how many times. And I'll just sort of cut, copy, paste for the down bar for the names. This is Lichen and Lace Wildflowers, and it's getting smaller. And this is Lichen and Lace Calm Waters, and these are both in 80-20 sock. Are they so soft? <laughs> <laughs> they could be like an eyeball, like a Cyclops eyeball. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it is coming along. You saw last night while you were binge watching The Office, I was working away on it. Oh, yes. And... Now you'll get to see where I put the jiggles and beans. So my Lemon Difficult Shawl by Kate Atherley is my lovely brioche feel. It's so squishy. Do it. This is what you want me to make you something in brioche, right? Yes. So we'll talk about that later because the yarn has arrived. So every week for anyone who's new, I have been putting on, and guys, because you haven't seen me do this either, I've been putting on a new progress keeper. And so the first one I put my apple strudel and then I did a lot of progress and I put on my snow cone. Isn't that so cute? Mm -hmm. Yes, and that one's by Sucre Sucre Miniatures. And then I put on a lovely chip teacup. And then I put on my lovely lime in the coconut, coconut marker. And then you're gonna like this one. I put on my teacup. Now, what is in the teacup? Oh my. What is it? <laughs> it's the Grim. Ooh, it is the Grim. So tell me what that means. Uh, well, I don't know the whole thing, but the Grim is in Harry Potter in the third movie and the third book where uh, the Professor Trelawney is uh, reading and they have to see the things, and they're in the book, and they, it's the tea leaves, and the tea leaves tell your fortune, or... Yeah, that's exactly what it is, and inside are the tea leaves, and that is the Grimm. And then, the next week, I had a lovely Harry Potter, another Harry Potter charm from uh, the Super Super Miniatures, and um, Harry Potter Yarn Club by Homespun House, a Homespun House, and uh, it's a cute little cupcake with a star. And then we go on a little bit. I got a lot of work done that week, and I put on my lovely pina colada. Mm -hmm. And then I got a lot of work done that week. And what did I put on that week, Isaac? Tom Riddle's diary. And? The, the basilisk tooth. Yes. So my Tom Riddle diary and the Basilisk tooth. And then last week, I didn't get much done at all, and I put on my lovely Flamingo from the Fripperies and Bibelot um, Secret Ringos Club. And then this week, Scout's right there. 
I got a lot done, I think. A good chunk, definitely more than last week, right? And so this week, on this amazingly long, long shawl, look how long it's getting. Right. Not quite your wingspan, <laughs> but it's getting there. Once it's blocked, it will be. So I am going to put my lovely Jiggles and Bean Vampire Popsicle that glows in the dark that Tracy sent me. And I'm going to put that on my Lemon Difficult Shawl. So we'll see how much I get done this week. I wonder. I wonder. I'm really hoping to get it done soon though. So there we go. Oh, and isn't he just too cute? And I'll be able to find it in the dark. Too cute. Too cute. I can go to the movie theater and knit or something like that. Anyway, yeah, so it's coming along and I'm really enjoying adding the Progress Keeper as I go along. So I think that's something I'm going to try and ha always have a project that I can show you that I can sort of show the, the progress as we go. And I've got a really exciting pro um, project to announce later on that I think I'm going to do this in. So, are you excited? Yes. I am too. So, okay, so that is my Lemon Difficult Shawl going back in the bag and I did not work on my um, Scottish Thistles Nova Scotia shawl at all this week because I was so busy trying to get the retreat project done and working on this and working on my socks. But I still feel good about the amount of work I did this week on my knitting, so. Till next, yeah, till next week, we'll see what happens with my London bag then. So we are now done, my favorite things. Woohoo! Da -ba -da -da! On Monday, after a really long day at work and going to get my shots, I came home and there was this wonderful box, which I was so curious to open. And inside we found our lovely new mugs. And they were wrapped in this amazing, amazing wrapping paper that has what on it, Isaac? Your name spelt correctly. Yes. Beside the name Julie, and I love the name Julie, not only because my sister-in-law is named Julie, and Isaac's favorite teacher was named Julie, but because this is the name of my first cat. Did you know that? I had no idea. Yeah, I had a lovely little orange cat when I was really little, and I named him Julie. I did. I liked the name Julie. So anyway, so I just liked this wrapping paper and I just loved that um, it had all these wonderful names on it. Um, my best friend, her name is on it and that's Carol. And Potter is in the middle because like, you're a Harry Potter fan. Actually, it's Potteries, but you know, we can shorten it, we can pretend. And I just thought this was the coolest wrapping paper. This was your piece. You wanna know why I know it's yours? How do you know? Cause it's all wrinkled up and crack, crinkled up. How do you know it's not Nathaniel's? Cause I peeled your name off of it earlier. So <laughs> that's how I know. Uh, mine was unwrapped very neatly. Nathaniel's was ripped to shreds, but I just, I liked yours because my name was like perfectly in the center there. So along with that package was this amazing, amazing sign. And it says, born to knit. forced to work. I know it's so sad. I do like my job. I have a brand new office which I am loving. Isaac says you can dance in it. It's got a lot of room. So this is going to go into my brand new office but I had to show it on the podcast this week because isn't this the coolest sign? So it is. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it but um, I will put it somewhere. Also in that package was a wonderful custom dyed yarn that I asked if Tracy could dye for me because Tracy is of Nora George Yarns, is going to be um, custom dyeing five orders per month. So as soon as I heard that, I got on that really quick. So this is one of the colorways she is custom dyeing and she even named it. I said I was looking for something like a cobalt blue. So this is actually called cobalt. And so 
Um, I want it to go along with my Arendelle sparkly yarn and I'm hoping to make a sweater. So it is a beautiful blue cobalt singles that will go with my sparkly Erin Moore yarn. So Erin Moore? What's the name of, no, Arendelle. The name of the frozen. Arendelle. Frozen. Oh, yeah, Arendelle. Yeah, so this is to go with Arendelle and I just, it's, isn't that a beautiful blue? Yes. Oh, I love blue. I have to admit with blue. my eyes. It goes with your eyes. I think it does, at least. But you don't get to keep it. It's for me. No. So, my sweater. Mine, mine, mine. Because I make so many sweaters, right? Oh, and then, last weekend, we had my sister and her husband stay over. And um, my sister mentioned that my other sister had been to Iceland. I had no idea. Did you know that Allie went to Iceland? Yes. I didn't know. Anyway, so uh, she said that Allie had given her some yarn from Iceland, and I just went, Allie gave you Lopi? Did she get me Lopi? She got me Lopi. So, from Iceland, even though I didn't know she was going, um, I got these beautiful purple balls of lovely Lopi yarn that I'm going to make maybe a hat or some mittens or something like that with because they're fun and they go, they go so nicely together. So I was excited to get that last Sunday after the podcast. And I was feeling a little bit stressed last Sunday and I think, did you go up for a bike ride? I don't know where you went. You disappeared somewhere because I popped over to the Purple Pearl while we were waiting for people to return and after um, I had had a quiet morning. And I bought these lovely Juniper Moon Farm Dromedary, 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 I don't know. Um, Dromedary. Dromedary, uh, skeins of DK weight yarn, because I'm hoping that maybe there might be a lovely test knit coming up sometime this fall or winter that I can put these lovely colors together because blue, cream, and red just have that lovely old world feel. And as soon as I saw these, I thought I've got to make a three colored shawl with these. So I grabbed them while I could and I know I'm on a yarn diet. I just, I'm stressed out. It was a stressful weekend last weekend. So anyway, that's what I did. I went to the Pearl, bought some yarn, broke the diet. And, <sighs> Sometimes that's how it goes. One thing I forgot to show last week that I had last week, but I completely for forgot because it was a crazy busy weekend and I podcasted early and I put this in a very special little box, but then forgot to pull out the box for the podcast, which was kind of funny because I should have clued in when I was showing off the Shawl Society Wishmaker Shawl. But in the mail a couple of weeks ago, I received this lovely, amazing, gorgeous Shawl Society pin from Helen of Curious Handmade. And of course, I have test knit all of the Shawl Society shawls for the past two seasons. So I was thrilled to get this. And Isaac and I both collect um, Disney pins. And um, so this is a pretty nice looking pin, isn't it, Isaac? Mm -hmm. It's, it's, I think it's navy. It's a very, very dark blue. And um, it's just the, the silver on it is so amazing. And I wish it would focus a little bit better. Let's see, put your hand up there, Isaac. Maybe we'll see if it actually focuses. I don't know. Anyway, this is the lovely Shawl Society pin. And if you have a chance to get one of these, I highly recommend it because not only would it look fabulous on a project bag, it's just a fabulous pin to have in your collection. So um, I think I'm going to put it on because you know what? I've earned this pin. I think so. And uh, so there's one more shawl to be released for the Shawl Society and that's the October shawl. There we go, my Shawl Society pin. So I got that in the, in, uh, the mail. Now I have been on a yarn diet. But I kind of didn't mention that my yarn diet should include things like bags or progress keepers or stitch markers or anything like that. So do they count, Isaac? No. No. Oh, that's good. Yarn. That's good because, yeah, um, because I've sort of gone a little bit hog wild buying some lovely things. 
and you're gonna love these. So this is from the Corner of Craft, and these are all lovely hand beaded stitch markers, progress keepers, and they're on little earring clasp type things which go on so well. So I have these lovely unicorns, and the pink one reminded me of the uh, unicorn frappuccino from Starbucks, and purple is always a lovely color as well, so I got the two unicorns. And I'll pass them so you can look at them because they are just absolutely divine. And then I got this cute little bee and the sloth with, he's got this beautiful sort of bronzy color and he's got flowers in his hair. And I think I might use the sloth next week on my shawl. What do you think of those? Aren't they so cute? <laughs> and then I got... A special order of two dragons and the green and the purple dragon I'm trying to it has they, they have these beautiful metallic colors in them aren't they adorable oh my. <laughs> and then I was gonna like the next one. Man. Mm -hmm. awesome a cute little fox and an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous what is it? Goes. Owl. Owl. It's like Hedwig. Isn't that just absolutely adorable? And look at all the silver that goes around. It's just... Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just gorgeous. So, corner of, of craft, and I'm sure you've seen these on Instagram, on everyone else's podcast, and they are... They're lovely, They're aren't they? Beautiful. I couldn't resist getting a bunch. So, um, dragons, unicorns, owls. Oh my, nice. So that was definitely what I needed. And there's yarn. Yarn. Yarn, yeah. But this is gonna be yarn that you like. And uh, a couple of weeks ago on True Confessions, I talked about how yarn names will get me every single time. So let's start off with lovely yarn from Teeny Button Studio. And this is called Defy Gravity. And why would I like this one, Isaac? It's from Wicked. And why would you like this one, Isaac? It's from Wicked. It's a musical. It's an mm -hmm. amazing. It's like Alphabet, right? So. Ah, <sighs> name, got me. And then, and you saw this one and knew exactly what it was. And you, this was the one that when it came in, you just went, I love that. And it's on Sparkle Base. What was this one called again, Isaac? Do you remember? Unicorn Frappuccino. It is called Unicorns in My Coffee. And oh. yes, it is Unicorn Frappuccino worthy. Um, yes, I think these have to go on these, right? Yeah. Yes. So, definitely. And when the unicorn frappuccinos were out in the spring, I got three. How many did you have? One or two? Two. Cause... Two, yeah. We sort of, we were lucky to kind of get, they, they sold out like Saturday morning. They were gone. Um, but yeah, that was, there. I liked them. Some people said they were gross, and I was like, they are good. They're Good yeah, things. I liked it. Anyway, I wish they'd have more, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. But I had, I had, one from three different locations, and the one that was picked up, on um, that was a gift to me from my husband who brought it to work. That was my favorite of them all, and it's not because it was just a gift. It was just, it seemed to taste a little bit different. And then the last one from Teeny Button Studio, is Voodoo Queen. And this one, it was actually the colors that, that grabbed me more than the name. But um, I have a bin full of names that are also going to grab me. But yeah, the beautiful, you liked this one too, didn't you, Isaac? Yes. It's a beautiful purples and greens purples. and sparkle. Who doesn't love sparkle? And then there was the yarn from Once Upon a Corgi. Now... Let's show this one first. And this is called the Palace of Dreams. And I bought this one for myself because it was pretty 
and just pinks and greens. And this is the Palace of Dreams on the Penny Base. So it is 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, and there are 380 yards on this. And it is super soft and super fun. And then the other one that I bought for myself, Sparkle Base, was this one. And this was Tower Over the Thames, or Towers Over the Thames. And um, I just, I love the colors and anything London is going to capture my heart. But the colors in this were so gorgeous. But this is what nailed this purchase for me. What does that say? Isaac. Isaac, it's not clear. Nice guys finished it on the Isaac base. And this is 100% Superwash Polworth and 407 yards. And anything that says Isaac on it has got to go to... Isaac! <laughs> Woohoo! Don't drop it. And so that was Nice Guys Finished Dead. But this is the one on the Isaac base that my lovely son Isaac just had to have. And when I showed it to you, what did you say? I forget. Yeah, it wasn't until I told you the names <laughs> that you just went, I have to have that. And I, well, I think what I said to you was, I'm going to show you something and you're going to tell me I have to buy this. And you said, no, probably not. And then I said, it's on the eyes of base. And you went, oh, what? And then I said, it was called... Lemony Snicket. And then you had to have it. Because why? It's uh, a series of unfortunate events. And uh, he's the author. And mm -hmm. it's the best series ever on Netflix. I it is so good. It is a good series. And I've talked about it before, and it makes me laugh so much. So um, there may be some more fun things from Once Upon a Corgi coming, Isaac. The Office? No. <laughs> the Office would get you, wouldn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine Dwight Schrute on yarn? <laughs> That would be fun. Pam and Jim and Dwight Schrute on yarn. Um, not The Office, but maybe some more of Lemony Snicket sort of things coming your way. And maybe even some Harry Pottery type things. I don't know. Look at those eyes pop out of his head. And maybe some will be on Isaac Base and some not. But anyway, so these two are going to go together to make Isaac something probably for his birthday. It will not be done for your birthday, probably, Isaac, I'm sorry to say, but it'll be underway and you'll see it working and I'll give you the ball bands or whatever and you can, eventually will be yours. Do you like those colors together? Yes. They're fun, aren't they? They're both Isaacs together. They are, although I do have to say, I like, I like that together, mm -hmm. but I'm not willing to give you my sparkle base. No. It's mine. And that's mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Yep. Okay, so that is all we have to show on brown paper packages this week. This week I have a super exciting announcement to make. So we gotta go, super exciting announcement! And I am going to be hosting and I have a co-conspirator who has helped me put this together and uh, so I will be the primary host but my co-conspirator will also be participating and helping with prizes and um, it was their idea sort of to begin with or started the ball rolling so um, and that person is Danny of Little Bobbins. And so Danny of Little Bobbins and I have been talking a little bit on Instagram about doing a, um, a knit along together for the Oracle Shawl. And I, at first when she, she suggested, you know, maybe we could do it at the same time. And I sort of thought, oh my gosh, I've got this, that, the other thing to do. I'm not sure about dates and all of that, but unless I'm given a date, 
it's never getting done. So um, I said, okay, well, why don't we start October 1st? And then I said, do you want to just have it the two of us? Do you want to have it a small group or do you want to just open it up to whoever would like to join into our knit along? And so Danny and I decided it would be fun to just open up the knit along to everybody who would like to join in. And we have a wonderful name and hashtag for our knit along and it is going to be called the Spirit of Autumn Knit Along and it will start October 1st. And when do you think the Spirit of Autumn Knit Along should end, Isaac? The, when the last leaf falls. Yeah, but that could happen, I mean, that could happen at any time. I mean, usually that's like November for us. <laughs> This is, okay, so the Oracle Shawl, Isaac, is a three-skein shawl by uh, Kristen of Woolen Vine Yarns. So that's a big shawl to do. Um, not by the time the last leaf falls, but Spirit of Autumn, when do you think it should end? The end of the month? Oh my gosh, no. That's not enough time to do anything. Till Christmas. You're getting closer. Till New Year's. You're getting farther away now. Spirit of Autumn. Till the end of autumn. Yes, which is when? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so the autumn starts, uh, so originally we had talked about maybe having it start the first day of autumn and ending the last day of autumn. So the Spirit of Autumn Knit Along will begin on October 1st and run through to December 20th, which is the last day of autumn. And Although we are doing the Oracle Shawl, and that's what Danny and I will try to hopefully get done before the deadline, um, other magical name shawls are allowed into the knit along. But there are a couple of rules. They need, it needs to be a two to three skein shawl, um, mainly because we are giving a longer amount of, of time to do this. And the other reason is because we've got some wonderful, wonderful prizes. I know, prizes. Prize. There are going to be some wonderful prizes for this knit along and one of them is going to be a handmade bag by Danny of Little Bobbins and anybody who knows Danny of Little Bobbins and her bags knows that they go in 12 seconds flat and uh, so fantastic prize that you might be able to win. And so that's the prize that my co-conspirator, Danny, is going to be providing. And then I have two prizes. So there will be some David's tea, there'll be some other little goodies, and there will be two special skeins of yarn that I have ordered, and um, one will go in each of the other two prize packs. And the first one is a lovely autumn colored yarn from Sarah of Cauldron of Colors. And the second one, I am so excited about this, Isaac, because last Saturday I filmed the podcast. And mm -hmm. on Sunday morning, I woke up and was looking at Instagram and was so excited because Tracy of Nora George and everybody who's seen the podcast before knows I love Tracy of Nora George and I love Nora George yarns. Tracy's Literature Club for October is going to be To Kill a Mockingbird. And the big skein that is going to be, um, I guess that the, the featured skein, because she also does the minis as well, is going to be Boo Radley. So I purchased a skein of Boo Radley that I will be putting as a prize for the Spirit of Autumn Cal because Boo Radley, I, th I think of Autumn, I think of Halloween when I think of To Kill a Mockingbird and I love To Kill a Mockingbird. My dog's name is Scout, right Scout? Who's getting pets right now? So, Little Bobbin's Bag, one prize. Second prize, some lovely tea and goodies and a skein of Cauldron of Colors yarn. And third prize, is a skein of Boo Radley plus some lovely little goodies. So a chance to win three wonderful prizes because all good things come in three. And so we're thinking, Danny and I are thinking that we will draw one name for one of the prizes. And then the other two, we will have um, some different uh, things. Well, maybe it's like the, the best name for 
the best project name is one of the thoughts that we're throwing around. Um, another one might be best themed photograph. And we're going to do the contest, the, um, we're going to do the knit along on Instagram. Partially because um, I've had a couple of people ask if I will be opening a Ravelry group and at this point it's just something that's a little bit much. I'm not on Ravelry as much as I would like to be normally. So for me to open a group where I just don't have the time or the energy to put what is needed into it, I wouldn't be able to check it as often as I should because I do have a lot of things going on. Um, I think I, I'm wanting simple and I know Danny's also wanting simple so we've got a nice long time frame to do this knit along and um, we just want to keep it fun, relaxed and uh, we'll, I'll do a, an update every week on the knit along on my podcast. Danny will do a few Insta um, Instagram posts, I'll do some Instagram posts as well and uh, then the final drawing will come from Instagram rather than Ravelry just because sometimes in a busy life, and especially when we're getting close to Christmas, uh, that's going to be um, the the way that we're going to have to do it. So, um, so that is the exciting news. So the spirit of autumn knit along, woo! And uh, so we're going to start October first. So if you are thinking you'd like to join in and either knit the Oracle shawl or knit another magically named two to three skein shawl project. Start picking out your yarns and uh, let's get started October 1st. So, yay! That oh. was a fail, wasn't it? Yay! <laughs> True confession, I. I have no confession. I got lots of confessions. I just don't have the energy to do a true confessions today. And you're here. I can't do a true confessions when you're here. And, and no, la 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 la. Yeah, not even a la la la. <laughs> so there won't be a true confessions this week. But I will do bits and bobs. And uh, so bits and bobs telling you about some things. You had a really good week at school. No true confessions, but. Bits and bobs. And I think, Isaac, you had a pretty good week this week, didn't you? Yes. What happened to you? I got into Glee. Yep, so it's, it's a fairly well-known Glee club that you got into at your school. So, woohoo! I did it. You did it. And uh, you had also been on a wait list for one of the classes that uh, we, I put you on the wait list back in May at your high school because there had just been a, a timetable conflict. And so we had to sort of choose between which one was more important, but the one that was more important had a wait list happening, so you got in, so I was really happy to hear that. You were really happy to hear that too, and that was for your vocal class. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, you won't take French, but um, that's what we have to do. And uh, our fridge broke on Friday morning. So that kind of sucked. It came downstairs and it was, the fridge was sort of a little bit cool, but not not refrigerating so we went out on Friday night and looked at some fridges and then we sent your dad out and he we found Purchased something online it. he bought it and because uh, it was just I was not going out I wanted to knit Saturday morning I didn't want to go fridge shopping so <laughs> but we've got our fridge it's coming on Thursday so until then I guess it's takeout time all week darn so sad <laughs> so sad about that aren't you? <laughs> you unplug it and break the fridge so that would happen? No. Oh, okay. Uh, freezer works. It's really weird. Freezer works. There's popsicles in there. So, <laughs> someone can eat popsicles and, <laughs> popsicles and take out. You're not taking popsicles for lunch. You're melt. Anyway, I think you've got some frozen sandwiches in there, but yeah. Anyway, so fridge broke. We had to buy a new one. That kind of sucked. Not kind of. It did. Because um, that means less yarn or bags or other things. Um, what else happened this week? Um, busy week, busy always, and uh, I, I got some stuff off the needles, but that's all knitting. I talked about that. And uh, yeah, so I guess we got some Thursday delivery of the fridge. That's the most exciting thing that will probably happen this week. And um, yeah, anyway, so I think school for you, club for you, fridge. That's bits and bobs, and I've got a dog working my arm. You're so fun, Scout. Anyway, uh, that is, I think, the majority of things that, exciting things that happen in our lives. Woohoo.
time to say goodbye. So a huge thank you if you've come to visit again for the first time. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for spending some time with me this afternoon. I hope you got some work done on your project and had some lovely tea, coffee, iced coffee. It's like summer now. It's so weird. Um, but uh, I hope that you had a chance just to sit down, relax, take care of yourself. And I hope to see you next week on the Comfy Red Couch. Bye. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. Lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Popsicles. Cheers.